So my only goal with this module is that you learn the basics of color correction. Now I'm not gonna go really deep into the science of color correction. Color correction is a profession in itself. It's a very complex profession if you ask me. Keep that in mind, I'm gonna teach you the basics of color correction. So when you're editing your projects and in case that you have to do the color as well, you can do it and you can do it in a successful way. Now, as I said, color correction is very, very complex. So if you feel a little bit overwhelmed with everything I'm gonna be teaching you, just relax and just think that these are only the basics. And at the end of the day, you don't have to be a colorist. You're an editor and you're just learning some color. But it's important that you understand how key is the stage of color correction. Color correction can modify the entire mood and feeling of a piece. It's a stage of post-production that majority of the people, they don't even know that exists, but it's just so important that we cannot ignore it. I met once a professional colorist who told me that the one of the main objectives of being a good colorist is that the audience or the viewers, they don't realize there's a color correction process on it. And I think he's very right. At the end of the day, what is important is that your audience or the people viewing are not questioning whether the color is correct or not. You have to be able to make them immerse into the project without questioning the color. It's pretty much the same with audio and the sound effects. We don't want people to be thinking about certain sound effects, but we just want them to perceive them and feel them. Now let's begin. So before going to the coloring tab, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the media pool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to close these two that I am not going to need anymore. And what I like to do in this moment is I go into my main timeline and I duplicate it. I rename the copy and I rename it clean. And you will understand now why I name it clean. So I'm just going to open this one too. So right now, clean and first cut are exactly the same. So I'm just going to close first cut and I'm going to be working on clean. The reason I call it clean is because I basically clean the timeline and I get rid of everything that is not going to be involved in the process of color correction. So all this erased. And even this audio part here, we're going to get rid of it. Now, as you can see, our timeline is completely clean and there's nothing else, only our project. That's why I call it clean. So once we have this, I'm just going to save the project. And now we're going to go into the color tab. So let me just explain you what we see when we go into the coloring tab. If you have never done color correction before, don't stress out because you might be seeing a lot of things that you don't know what they are. I'm telling you, it's not that complicated. The thing with color correction is that it's very, very detailed. You can modify every single pixel the way you want. But when it comes to like operating the software and the coloring tab, it's not really complicated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an introduction of the entire color tab. And after that, we're going to go and I'm going to stop and explain the most important things and the basics that you need to understand in order to do color correction. 